So my goodness, we have a pizza and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight parts. These parts are eighths. If I take away one of them, I have, I took away one eighth and I have seven eighths left. All right, let's say I take away two eighths. If I take away two eighths, I have six eighths left. I'm always dealing with eighths. The denominator when I start actually doing the calculations isn't going to change. It's always eighths. I'm either adding or subtracting if it's the like denominator. Let's say I had eight eighths and I took away three eighths. If I took away three eighths, I have one, two, three, four, five eighths left. So three eighths plus five eighths is eight eighths. And I had eight eighths and I took away three eighths and I have five eighths left. Let's continue our subtraction journey. If I have eight eighths and I take away half all of this, I only have four eighths left. And I can check it with addition that four eighths plus four eighths is the total of eight eighths. What if I add eight eighths and I took away six of them? Oh no, I took away five of them. I have three eighths left. What would you rather have, three eighths or five eighths? If you like pizza, you want the five eighths. Well, what if I had eight eighths and I took away six eighths, all six of those eighths. I'd only have two eighths left. What if I had eight eighths? We have the eight eighths and I took away seven of those eighths. I have one eighth left. And six eighths, seven eighths, and one eighth is eight eighths. What if I had eight eighths and we ate all of it? Everybody took some and we ate the eight eighths. What's left? Nothing. I would have nothing left. So eight eighths minus eight eighths is zero eighths. All right. So let's, let's explore something else. What if we had two eighths and we added three eighths to the plate? Now we have three eighths and two eighths. We have five eighths. What if we had five eighths and we added two more eighths? We'd have six eighths, seven eighths. And if we had seven eighths and we added an eighth, we would have eight eighths. And eight eighths is the same as one whole pizza. So pizza can really help us here to think about adding and subtracting fractions with the same denominator. We could also break apart our pizza in different ways, like eight eighths. Eight eighths could be six eighths and two eighths. Or eight eighths could be seven eighths and one eighth. Or eight eighths could be three eighths and five eighths. You get the idea. We could break apart that pizza we could decompose that pizza in different ways. I love pizza fractions, don't you? I think it's time now that I take one eighth and eat it.